بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي محبتي في الله تكفير وتبديع وتفسيق these are sharia rulings to declare someone a disbeliever in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to declare someone to be an innovator in having innovated in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to declare someone a wicked fasic sinner these are sharia rulings and they're for the people of knowledge so all of us should not entertain and engage ourselves in these matters especially when we have very little knowledge many people aren't, aren't even students of knowledge but yet they involve themselves wondering I didn't make takfir of so and so should I make takfir of so and so if I don't make takfir of so and so maybe I'm not a Muslim and so forth this is all shubahat and waswas waswas from the shaitan this is from the shaitan whispering to you to confuse you about your religion so much so that you begin to leave off those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made an obligation upon you and this is what has happened to many people before us that they went astray because of excessive debating and, and in getting into affairs they don't need to involve themselves with issues that are reserved for the ulama for ahl ilm and the mutakhassisin in these matters those people who are who specialize in these affairs but if you get involved in those affairs when you don't have the right to do so you'll cause confusion for yourself and confusion for others let's listen to this beautiful statement of imam shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala what he said about this issue of takfir and how delicate and sensitive it is and who it's for qala imam shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala ولم يجعل الله لأحد بعد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن يقول إلا من جهة العلم مضى قبله وجهة العلم بعد الكتاب والسنة والإجماع والآثار وما وصفت من القياس عليها. so إمام الشافعي رحمه الله تعالى he said <coughs> And the law did not make for anyone after the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that they should say anything with regards to knowledge except with that which would preceded them from the knowledge from that, that it, uh, comes from the book and the sunnah and ijma, the consensus. And <clears throat> the athar, meaning the statements and narrations of the salaf, and what I have described from analogy, meaning qiyas. Then he said, Rahmatullah, Wala yuqis illa min jama'al ala allati lahu qiyas biha wa hiya ilm bi ahkam kitabi la fardahu wa adabahu. وناسخه ومنسوخه وعمه وخاصه وإرشاده إمام شافعي رحمة الله عليه then said and there is no analogy except for the one who has uh, compiled or who has acquired those high uh, aspects of knowledge in order to make this analogy or qiyas and they are the knowledge of the rulings of the book of Allah and its obligations and the manners that are contained in it and what has been abrogated and what has what has abrogated it and the specified evidences and those evidences which are general and that which uh, guides and gives guidance and illustration letting us know that we should not engage in these high affairs of declaring people 
to be disbelievers or having confusion. Yes, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you don't know about something, you're confused legitimately about some something you've heard from some some shubahat, then you ask the people of knowledge on how to deal with those things. But as far as carrying that on your chest, weighing yourself down with those things that have you have no uh, right to entertain or involve yourself in, then no, this will only cause you more confusion in your religion. Focus on gaining the knowledge, but do not try to apply those ahkam because that is another level of knowledge that is reserved for those who have the knowledge. And that is ahl dhikr ahl iman ahl basira Those people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given insight and wisdom and knowledge. And Allah and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said, Man yuridallahu bihi khayran yafaqahu fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them fiqh or understanding of the religion. So those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given that fiqh, fi deen, we return to them for those complex and complicated affairs. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.